we can get into uh, more complicated resistor networks. If they get too complicated, then we use a systematic set of rules to solve everything. But at sort of the freshman physics homework level, you can still kind of do them by hand. So let's do one that's just sort of mildly complicated and work our way through it by thinking about uh, series and parallels. So let's see, say we got some EMF out here, resistor one here, and that splits into a branch that has resistor two here, and then two resistors here, R3 and R4. My resistor symbols are starting to suffer. And then that branch comes back together, and on the way back, you throw in R5. All right. So the question is, how much current's gonna flow through there? Well, we start out just like before. The battery, all it sees is wires. So we know that the EMF will it'll send out some current times the effective resistance. So what is the effective resistance? Well, what you can do is start just thinking about it in terms of series and parallel. The first thing you can look at, and I won't even redraw the circuit, is that this is two resistors in series. So that's really just a resistor that's R3 plus R4. And so we'll draw it just as one resistor, R3 plus R4. Okay. And then you could see now we have just two resistors in parallel. So you could say this is really the same as R1 over R star R5, where I'm going to replace R star with these two resistors in series. So R star, its value would be 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 plus R4 to the minus 1. Okay? Remember, it's 1 over this equals one over this plus one over this, so I went ahead and just inverted everything. Inverted it to get back to R star, and I inverted that whole side of the equation to get back to R star. And then we have it back down to series. So now it's just this plus this plus this. So R effective is R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3 plus R4 to minus one plus R5. And there we put it all together to calculate R effective directly from R1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And if you wanted the current, then you would just take the EMF divided by whatever the value is of that, that R effective. So you can do them by hand by taking little parts and doing series, parallel, series, parallel, series, parallel. Eventually they get to be a mess. Or eventually we might do something strange like and then things get more confusing. Then you need a systematic way to find the answer.